Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about Wilcoxon signed rank test. A Wilcoxon signed rank test is a non parametric test that can be used to determine whether two dependent samples were selected from populations having the same distribution. Let us now take a look at an example to understand Wilcoxon signed rank test. The marks obtained in both the mock examination and the main examination by a random sample of 13 students are given below. We are going to test at 5% significant level. And from this test, we are going to determine whether the students performed better in the main exam than in the mock exam. HO or Arnall hypothesis is equal to 0 and HA or our alternative hypothesis is greater than 0. This is a one tiled test as we are expecting our mean to be greater than x. This can also be a one tailed test if we are expecting our x value to be lesser than x but not both. The next step is to find the differences between the mock test and the main test. Here we have to subtract the main test marks from the mock test marks. If we calculate for all the 13 values, we get these values. The next step is to find the absolute difference. These absolute values have neither positive sign nor negative sign. Now that we have calculated our absolute difference from the given value, moving on to the next step, we have to rank them. Ranking from the smallest value, which is in our case is 1 and the next rank is to 2 and coming to the next value that is 3, this number has record 3 times. So finding the mean for the rank 3, 4, 5, we get 4 and we are marking it as 4 and next the value 6 repeats itself for 4 times. So finding mean for it, we get 9.5. Now that we have ranked our values, the next step is to calculating the ranks of positive and negative values. In our case, there are 3 negative values in the difference. The rank corresponding to those 3 values are 9.5, 6 and 8. Four. Adding that, we get 19.5 and adding the values of the rank corresponding to the positive values, we get 71.5. Our test statistic is the lesser of these two values. So, 19.5 is our test statistic. Now, to find the critical value, we have to go to the Wilcoxon table. We have to search for our critical value in the one tiled area with our significance level 5% and where our n equal to 13. We get the critical value as 21. Our test statistic 19.1 is less than our critical value that is 21. So we have to reject the null hypothesis. So our Test conclusion is that the students did better in the main exam than in the mock exam. I hope you like these videos. Please share these videos with everyone who are preparing for this exam. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.